So, oh, Jesus, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. I just ate dinner. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome, welcome, people from YouTube. I, I promise that wasn't. That's not normal. That we don't we don't start streams like that. Uh, <laughs> that was a pretty girthy burp. Ugh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Chia sounds so good all the time. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Penacone! Penacone! First, Penacone is located in Azdana. Azdana. A system which has historically been one of the macro voids. Scrap is a macro void. The memory zone. If you exhibit any oh. signs of dizziness, distorted uh. or you should take them seriously. This is sounding pretty serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Few of the Ooh, okay. Are we getting you crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Yes, Chia, yeah, explain. Like most of the worlds that the yes, we do have a YouTube at, channel. It is Molo Zang Vods. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As well, that was really- why was that so- why is she saying this? I don't like this. There's still some time before the jump. Oh, Rachel, I should please. talk to everyone. Let's talk. Oh God! Remember when I when you broke my 50-50? There's no way I'll lose a 50-50 when Howard's here. For Howard. Well, what? No! Damn. No! And Sam said, "Hold my cane." Hi, Himiko. You're the picture of calm as always. Uh, of course, I'm the mature adult type. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. Oh. I suppose that's your specialty. I didn't do that with a straight face. But regarding the family's invitation... Something about them being the called the family one. is really yeah. freaking me out. Are you coming with us? Hi, Nick! I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the Express this Oh, time. he's not coming. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. You should come with us, Nick! Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. Dahan is also very up, not like oh. his English voice actor. Nick is bubbly and happy and friendly. Um, word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. No one is saying good things about the family! Let's see. Oh, her room is so cute. Oh, there's me! There I am! Look, look, chat, 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 look. Did you know? Did you know I voice I voiced that character? That character right there? Do you see her? No! She's gone. I don't voice her anymore. That was it. Peaceful prime time. Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! The Express is about to make the jump! The Express is about to make the jump! Please and we die in this jump. Hold on! The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one! Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Huh? Huh? I saw things in that jump. That's really scary. Our jump was intercepted! Where did you take me? Who took me? Ooh, they put me on a nice couch at least. This is, oh. Not another one. <gasps> Allegra, it's Allegra! Come with me. Oh, follow her. Hi, Allegra. No, we don't ask who she is. We'll just ask. I, I want to say yes. Is there an option for yes? We will. We will go anywhere. Damn, she's hot. Holy crap! Her boobs are pointy. These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Oh. A dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. Oh. This is the that's, Land of Dreams inaugural welcome. That's for very us. soon to be sharing in each other's minds. We have just met. Worry not. For it's giving Baldur's Gate brain worms. From this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Why is she talking like this? Naught but a faint lingering of loss! Hey, no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. What is she going on about? It is an occurrence that 
we have become accustomed to for so long. Okay. So she she I'll looks like Zila so much from the back. Holy crap! This is insane how much she looks like Zila. Sara, what are you doing with this design? She looks exactly like Zila. She's like Zila's mom with bigger boobies <laughs> and talks in a way that Zila would never understand. Left to the end of the corridor. Yes, ma'am. Bark, bark. Okay. Is this Ratio's bathtub? Ooh. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Ooh. This is. Ooh. No, it looks like a hotel. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. Those are chairs. Whoa. That's trippy. I don't like this. Do y'all know when I flew to Singapore, I threw up? I don't do good in, in, in things that confuse me. <laughs> or high altitudes. <laughs> oh! How is this even possible? Oh! <gasps> Why not? Oh god, that's gonna give me a headache real she quick. Can hear the thoughts in my head. Oh god, okay, I'm, um, okay, <laughs> I've had enough. I'm lost already, where am I? <laughs> can I go up the wall here? Whoa! Holy crap, I can go up the wall everywhere! Oh god, I'm gonna get so lost! What is this? Ooh, oh wait, I was We're looking at there. the- Ooh! Now I am become Trailblaze, the preambulator of walls. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> She said I'm funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Wait, you just or said don't do anything. Up, for that matter. Oh, it is o Oppenheimer. Wait, where's she going? Okay, bye. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, there. Oh my God, there's a lot of people here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> gotta gotta spray some perfume. Psst, psst. And then we gotta um comb our hair. <laughs> And then we gotta, uh, settle our clothes. Okay. We're, we're presentable now. Oh my god, hi! Yeah. These voices... They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Oh, scrap! He kind <gasps> Ooh, he kinda... Mmm... Kinda pretty. He's got a mullet, but he's hot. But she... Holy f scrap. Holy f scrap. Fuck. She's so pretty. I think she might be my favorite design in the game. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. Are they actually related? But if I can't sing, what meaning does the stage have? She can't sing? Isn't that like your whole whole thing is singing? Who the f scrap is that? How do you intend <clears throat> to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth. Oh. And they will naturally Oh my. Oh, we have Gundam in Hong Kong! Holy Scrap. shit, is this the Twink? Oh my god, this is the Twink! Oh my god, there's his titty window! <laughs> Ah, the charming audacity. Charming? He said charming. People might emerge victorious, dear girl. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. The way he del <sighs> the way he is speaking. Uh, did you hear the way he says his lines? This is this is not what. <gasps> Sparkle. This is my first time seeing her in game. She's so cute. She's so small. Oh. Oh. Look at her little two dots. She's so cute. Damn her boobies. Holy shit. This is Bill Butts' lady right here. Memo keeper. Lizzie Freeman's voice. I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I and it's Owlbert! 
Albert is the dance partner of her choice. Cute. Oh, that's the, that's, I really like that they did that. The, obviously, they can't do that for every single new land we explore, but it's really nice to have a little rundown, like a first meeting with the characters and then hearing their voices. That's really cool. Hi, Acheron. I'm, I will, oh my god. I don't like that. This hallway is, oh my god, this is giving me, oh my god. Um, I just want you all to know, like, if you think I'm exaggerating about throwing up on the plane, Emily sat right, right next to me when I threw up. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. Okay. But before you do, I would make a request of you. Why are you making a request of me and then saying I'm going to forget everything anyway? I'll do it, but I don't know if I can. Have we met? somewhere before whoa it's the texas in red the texas in red the texas in red um 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 uh what 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 hi um uh um, um, um yes you evoke memories of an old <gasps> friend i surrender in the haze of my recollections she stood shoulder to shoulder with me much like this surreal um. dreamscape where we stood close yet Forever is this a Honkai Impact third reference? For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are huh? they your companions? Family? Enemies? Huh? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Yes? If, if Himoko dies here, I'm going to... Fly to Shanghai right now, go in front of Hoyo's offices and just cry. Actually, maybe we'll throw up in front of the Hoyo offices. I'm pretty good at throwing up after that Singapore flight. That made me feel so sick. I don't think I'm a good flyer. I cannot bear such a fear. If it means losing them, I would. If it means that I will disappear, I would. I feel no fear. If it, I'm gonna pick this just because this says disappear. I'm on the sea of butterflies. Oh. Mm. I don't think she liked if that. There was that a answer. vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Why is your text in red? It's making me nervous. Uh, I would, no matter the cost. If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. That depends on the price I'd have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. I mean, I'd be fine living in a dream. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> um, um, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That depends on the price I'd have to pay. Would you wish to say? Um, if it was free, I'm pretty broke. We're gonna choose this one. No. I don't think you like that Imagine answer. If I don't think she like that answer. This blended dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Is she going? What are you talking about? You're really hot, but I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined uh... ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception. Is she saying that I, I need to know the ending now? Zila's mom has got it going on. I would ask. Still would you still back. embark on this? This journey? is giving me Final Fantasy XIV. I would abandon it. The price is too dear. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon trailblazing was never my intent. I would trailblaze. I would blaze a trail without. Yeah. Scrap. Yeah. We're going to blaze this trail. Scrap. Thank you. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. Okay. What? As I have said. The, why the did you? Why did you red text me? If the answer is inconsequential. What the scrap? <laughs> why? Why did you make me stress out for nothing? Hearing, touch, thought. See? Touch, hear, emotions. feel, think. It's Final Fantasy fourteen. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. I love trains too much to quit. To scrap. Yeah, trains. Yeah, she's trolling me though. I think I she's trolling ask. me. Oh god, it's red again! 
Um, uh, I, I mean, I, I, um, this is the first time we've met. I seem to remember you from somewhere. Does it give me cooler choices if I pretend I know her? I understand. Do you? Because I don't. She's secretly Heidelin. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. Yeah, no, I gave ex like random ass. Scrap. Do that what you final want with this. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewell. I remember you from the version 2.0 trailer. <laughs> Um, you haven't told me how to leave this place. <laughs> the golden dream is getting restless. Huh? In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations. Uh, huh? Many tragedies. Huh? I don't like and that. Finally, I don't like that. Your sight will we'll only, only see, see black and white. And white. What the scrap? What's happening? But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. Himiko red, right? And when Himiko you make red? a choice. Himiko red? Himiko, don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave the dream. More. Don't leave the dream. If Himiko dies, remember, we're going we're going to Hoyoverse HQ to throw up on on John Hoyoverse. Oh, Scrap. is she gonna kill me? You must do why is she about to kill me? Is ponder its She's not killing me, right? Why 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 did we zoom in on the on the sword first? And then you can return. Whoa! Girl, you're shy, Shadow. Oh, Scrap. shit, I'm dying. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what just. Oh, um. Her eyeshadow was running, and then I died. I'm crying. Why am I crying? Why am I crying? Go. More passion. Why am I crying? More passion. Why am I crying? Why are you asking? People can get emotional, okay? I dream of a Riddler spouting strange talk. Sounds like you had a nightmare. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. What's Memoria? Is that the new drug of our land? Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Panacone. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Penal colony. Oh. I, is... Is prison usually called col colony? Huh? Does that mean prison? Colony? Is that what, what prisons are called? Why are people typing oh I don't know what that means? <laughs> Me with March 7th, okay. It's like Australia. Huh? Penal is prison. Oh! <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Thankfully, they didn't. Uh, aside from that. I have to say the family has been really Who? <laughs> The family, the name the family is is really not well, not not reassuring. Okay. Who that? Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience oh, an Misha. unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> Hello small child. If you need help checking in. Please head straight to the concierge. Is that a, a keyhole in his eyeball? Baggage. That sounds like there's a story behind it. Uh, uh oh! Should Already, we just assistant. got we'll here. Get to your room. Hello. Okay, she's she's like arguing here, and he's just wait. It's that meme. Wait, wait, wait! It's that meme. What? What's the meme? What, do you know? Oh, oh! <laughs> it's that meme. What's it called? Um, where, 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 where? where what, 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 what's it called? What's it called? What, the the girlfriend one. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. What? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Check it! If Himiko says to check it, you better fucking check it! Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, platinum. whose names include Mr. Don Hung. These Don are the even here. on the reservation list. Huh? Uh, uh, <clears throat> and yes. I'm Mr. Don Hung, reporting for duty. Don Hung? When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Oh, rip. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. She's we can vouching for, her status. for us. Oh, man. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... 
Show oh yeah, show me yeah. Scrap. You pull the weapon no, out. I'm not doubting your status. It's just threaten her. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the charm. Oh, that's the sound of the bottom. Anagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, his all eyes are really from scaring all me. Over the cosmos have thronged this place. This is this is a man that kiss boys. Maybe both. Maybe both. But let, let's be honest. This is the time to say I do not speak for Hoyo, and this is entirely <coughs> personal inclinations. Feel free to ship what you want. My esteemed guests from the Astros like, come on, look at him. Look at him. Please do, do you hear the way he's her. talking? I'm not saying he doesn't kiss both, but he is most definitely kissing boys. <sighs> I've heard that yeah, you the tell IBC him, has also received Panacone's invitation. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? <laughs> I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. TEN MINUTES?! How, HOW DARE WE KEEP HIM WAITING FOR TEN MINUTES?! Oh, whoa, whoa, oh my goodness, the world is ending. Our government is collapsing. The tax system is falling apart. Ten minutes. Oh my god. It must be an inordinate number. So he wants to talk to the manager. <laughs> the IPC's influence runs deep and wide. Scrap Come up, Pima, go. The utmost authority she has voice. <sighs> Chef's kiss. You won't just be sparing much of your invaluable She said, time, make some friends, but bitch. But also forging new friendships. And how will my new friends benefit <laughs> you? Friends? <laughs> Sounds good. But. Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> if I do something about He's an entire now, fruit by himself. The time saved is from my own effort. Not a favor from you all. You all. <laughs> Nothing is more precious than friends, especially. A this is him. This is him friend zoning like Emily right now. Nothing's more precious than friends, Emily, and that's what I consider you to be. <laughs> Adventuring's English VA confirms that the ship between Aven and Ratio is rat urine. <laughs> rat urine. <laughs> Please allow her to check in on my account. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sun. Of course you do! <laughs> of course you've got an appointment with Mr. Sunday! <laughs> the family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh. Okay, he sounds he sounds really nice. His his enunciation's so clean. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This okay, way, I'm playing for him, god damn it. Let us speak in private. Wait, where are the bo Oh! <laughs> Hello, friend. How have you been? <laughs> I sincerely hope you don't mind. I do mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. <laughs> to show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. Uh, you have no idea what friends are. Such integrity. <laughs> Wait, what? I like it. Huh? I must have you as a friend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's happening? I'm so confused. I, I pick every option that's like rejecting him. He's like, ah, oh, I like it. I must have you as a friend. Here's more money. Please excuse me. I have some matters to. Does he actually give me the money? So I must depart. But I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Do you hear that? I'm sure we'll meet again soon. <laughs> Did he actually gave me money? <laughs> I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Aww. Well, it really is, Robin. She's so cute. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? Robin is Space Taylor Swift? No way. <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Her voice sounds like there's... The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. Does she sound like she has a filter on her voice? Some difficulties, and sent me here to provide There's like a, like an up and downness 
Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotion fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling in other positions. This will minimize the risk of drow drowning. Huh? Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in liquid for a long time, please contact. This is when you know you've done too much dreaming. If the, the, the dream doesn't even help you anymore. Imagine if you did drugs while in the dream pool. Do you like double trip? Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance and the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only. You have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. <laughs> Please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests. On behalf of the Oak, Alfala, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. During this present period, the Reverie Hotel in the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing reserva uh, renovations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process to enter the Dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the Golden Hour. The start to this adventure does not take place upon white sheets of snow, nor the imperious heights of the Chandral. White sheets of snow? How dare you! Bellabach has more personality than white sheets of snow! We had an underworld! We had the mines! Well, they should have said, Ah, oh, this, the start of this journey does not take place in the mines, or the imperious heights of the Shindro. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, stickers! Here's Emily's fruitcake. I'm gonna put him here upside down. Okay, but we like him. We like him. <laughs> put him up here. And we also like her. She's cute. Can we make her bigger? How big can we make her? Okay. We'll put her over her brother. <laughs> She's cuter than her brother. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a long hallway. Oh, Walt is, is like, oh, my back is aching. My cane, someone good. get me my cane. I can't walk down this long hallway. Oh, God, no. I'm feeling my age today. <laughs> we're not slandering well. He broke my 50-50, so we're blaming him for crimes. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first okay. and put down our bags. Okay. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Mom and Dad are drinking! Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. <laughs> He's like, I had to walk all the way here without my cane. I'm ready to drink. There was more to this invite. You mean we're not here for a vacation? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer oh. to the question, why does life slumber? Huh? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. His memory's Maybe going. Was, uh, As they say, message. when you get to that age, memory's the first to go. This is the part that intrigues We're me. making it out of the Hong Kong Bacteria University. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency. Oh, the conspiracy! Its warp jump. Also, the Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Huh? A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. Oh, I scrap it. Seen. It may be a masked fool's trap. When the invite was brought up, that family. <laughs> Every time I hear the family, I get the heebie jeebies. Why is it called and the it family? It sounds like a cult. It's kind of weird. Problems. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but. But her voice sounded. Yeah, sound her voice did sound a little strange. strange. A I couldn't even really tell if that was like a recording issue or a purposeful shape. glitch. You suspect that the family did not send the Ooh, invite and this is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. Us? Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. Oh. But you said oh, so. The kids yourself. are listening. The kids so are listening in. The trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Walt is a Swifty. <laughs> Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. So I was... She doesn't trust the father! The uh, I too just found out about the invite thingy. Ain't no biggie when Galactic Baseballer is in the house. Hell yeah. Hey, 
aren't you that big shot who caused a commotion in the lobby? Let's get acquainted! I'm Galactic Baseballer. Galactic Baseballer? What an impressive name. Noble and unique, perfectly suited to you. I'm Sabrina. Pr wait, what? Five, wait. Five, six, seven, eight. There's a Yarilo 8? Wario, Wario 8? There are only six planets in your... I feel like she's... I mean, it's actually a moon in the, uh, the moon. She's lying! So you must have... You must have heard of Bronya, right? Bronya? Sounds familiar. Who is that person? Well, you know, this is just a little joke, you know? The kind of joke to break the ice on meeting a stranger. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm not a princess. I'm far from a nobody. I'm a merchant from... Abilene, and I'm within the top 5,000, or maybe even top 100 wealthiest individuals in the entire universe. I've come to Patagonia to make some new friends who share similar interests and backgrounds. If you need any friends who enjoy socializing and hold a similar status and position to us, don't hesitate to introduce me to them. So wait, she was making it up. Your lady does not exist? Okay, she's a fraud. Okay. So, uh, what's my name? Of course I know. You are the individual we met before, right? It would be so funny if she said Zila. Like, what would I ask? Uh, so, uh, what's my name? And she's like, oh, Zila. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, you haven't rem remembered my name at all. Well, see. <laughs> well, you see. Your outfit is so striking that it practically introduces you. <laughs> <laughs> that... It's, this is especially funny because I'm playing as Zila. You approach the stage and clear your throat, <coughs> but the pianist remains unresponsive. You flick your sleeve and stomp your foot dramatically, yet the pianist remains unaware of your presence. Senpai, notice me? You open your mouth, but ultimately decide against shouting anything, not because you realize your rudeness, but because you realize it won't work. <laughs> The pianist is immersed in his own world, a realm of harmony and abundance akin to the celestial bodies and the motion and the ebb and flow of the tides, something beyond your disruption! Cool. Wow. That was an entire story right here, I just want you to know. Blue hair and- Whoa! 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 Is Sample? Is Sample here? Over ten individuals have fallen victim to the scam. The hounds are investigating, but this is- <gasps> It's Sample! Oh my god, the little bastard's here! Please do not trust any unauthorized dreaming devices such as Quantum Shuttle or Sweet Dream Drink. Oh my god, he's scamming Space Vegas! Wow! Each year, we rescue nearly a hundred stowaways and the cost of their treatments are not covered by insurance. This is hilarious, holy crap! Our Vagina Bones Koski is here! God, why is my room uh, door open? Oh my god, this rat's here too. What do you want? Get out of my room! You don't kiss girls, do you? <laughs> Unless you do. We meet again. <laughs> we meet again! <laughs> we meet again, friend! I'm just gonna treat him really crappy. This is my room, what are you doing here? This may be your room now, but... Half a system hour ago... It was still mine. Why is this... Who okay, cares? Why, why are you... It was still mine. Okay. Try to fight me? You want the room back? 1v1 me? Okay, what are you gonna do with your little thin ass ways? A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. What you the have fuck? no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. What? And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well. He's saying a lot for someone who gets beat up by, about to be beat up by me. You were the one who transferred it to me? You were the one who arranged the check-in? Well, it doesn't leave. You need to leave. It doesn't matter. Get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna treat him like crap. Oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. <laughs> <laughs> Pentagoni's a true blue- I wanna pick a fight! Dream. I wanna pick a fight! How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> <laughs> the reverie! <laughs> so sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Emily... I, I, again, I will never deny the fact that he probably kisses girls, but he prefer- like, he is a boy holder. What do you want to talk about? 
You should go talk. Yeah, don't talk to me. Get out of here. Go talk to Himiko or Well. Wrong. <laughs> You're the one I see. Oh my god! <laughs> if you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards. As well as the present. His eyes are really passion. creeping me out. I'm not sure I like that. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <gasps> not one of the crowd. Quality. Quality. So that it could sway the, <laughs> the way he game. delivers certain words that is killing power. me. It's hilarious. You really don't wish to use it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The stars. I'm warning you. Can we just continue being mean to him? Am I going to get in trouble if I just keep being mean to him? I'm warning you. You need to leave now. Scrap you. Warning me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too funny. <laughs> you don't oh. have to answer me now. Oh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you took my warning. While. I'm not a threat to him. When the time is right, I will look for you again. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. <laughs> so I hope that friends... <laughs> Don't let me F down. Wait, wait, he did it right. He prolonged the F. Friends. You should really be going. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. I'm not rushing. Go because away. No matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Listen, he can still like but girls. I like just think the way he like acts, it. he likes boys it. more. No? I didn't get your I need answer. to emphasize we're not well, denying that he possibly likes girls. We don't know. But I just think that rat urine is making a lot more sense so far. Oh, oh, Fred, oh, oh. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. Oh, okay, okay. One you can't refuse. Okay. No reason to choose otherwise. It's about to kill me. Please don't kill me. <gasps> no other choice. Why do you look like that? You're so scary. Oh, scrap. Come up. Oh, I'm scrapping in my room. Oh! Oh my gosh, she's so hot. <laughs> well played. This is a top right here, and then there's you haven't been in Panacone long. Have a pleasant stay. He's finally leaving. Good God. <laughs> Okay, I just think she's really hot. I agree. I think I I for me personally, I think she's hotter than Black Swan. I know Black Swan is a lot of people's favorites. I, 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 she's she is designed for a specific audience and Acheron is designed for a specific audience and I am that audience. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, thank you for saving me from him. Why haven't you left? Why haven't you left? Why do I have to? <laughs> why do I have to? I just. Whoa, what, 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 why, 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 why are you? Take it easy. Why are you red texting me again? Room. Why are you red texting me again? Oh. I'm trying to find my own room too, and I heard a commotion here. So I came to take a look. Luckily oh. your door was open. Could have gotten dangerous. Oh my gosh. Like he was to She's looking out for me, Trill's hair. I have a strange feeling about this. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room too. Mm. Have we met? What? Somewhere before? Huh? Um. Perhaps in a dream. I was about to ask too. Whoa, deja vu. Deja vu. Um. Perhaps in a dream. Yes. It was a dream. Oh. This is your name, isn't it? Oh. oh. Nice to meet you. Oh. You still remember me? I'm that famous now? Ooh. Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man oh. mentioned it before he left. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what oh. they call me. It's red. You it's can me. call me whatever you want. It's red. It's red. I doubt we'll meet again. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you Mostly so mean? a gentle reminder. There are she's she's really giving me mixed signals here. Faith, even why, why, why are there so many and so many different text colors? For good. What what does it mean? And when who wears it? Wait 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 wait. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely. Go oh, she's for talking broken. about adventuring. Bet it all. That took me a while to get. Hand. That is all I can say. 
I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. See from the back, it's just Sila to me. The front, though. Back Damn, she's hot. Left. Strange. Hmm? Who's here now? What the scrap? It didn't take long for a reunion. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? Oh, pfft. She's lost. Oh, she's scrap. Girl, I get lost all the time. Okay, sticker. Oh, scrap. Yeah, we're putting her right in the middle. She's the hottest one. Right in the middle. Because she's hot. We like her the most. Ooh, cutscene. Vaporwave. <sighs> Ooh! Oh, we in fact put Please our clothes on. Relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Ooh, this is nice. We're we're the Doctor Ratio like Just tone right now. Focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Ooh! Imagine a dreamland. Oh 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 God! Who's Mikhail? Who's Mikhail? Who's Mikhail? Oh, eyeball. Oh. Oh. What was that? Well, Dr. Ratio! That is it, Ratio. Why the long face? Are they about to kiss? Hey, I just Are they about to kiss? Where's that handsome bust? What? What? Handsome bust? Handsome bust? The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Oh. Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? <laughs> Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot oh, ruined everything. The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. <laughs> You're funny. I'll give you that. You're funny, Twirl's hair. Oh, oh you're so funny. Home. It's my job. <laughs> How would a gambler wrest Penicone back from the IPC? Did you hear him? Otherwise? It's my job. Rat Get urine. to the point. Oh, what's your plan? This this man's stature does not look like he's a doctor. He's very um. He feels like rather than reading books, it feels like he's lifting textbook. <laughs> well, no That's how need he consumes his reading. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. Trump card! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? Whoa. I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. They're kissing with their eyes! Hey, they left before they Okay, that's that's actually kind of sad. Oh, scrap. Um. <sighs> I did not mean to offend. Oh, okay. <gasps> we like a man who repents. We like a man who realizes his mistakes and apologizes. Help me look into her. Oh, he's gone. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, <gasps> do you? Oh, no. Oh, well, no. Seems like I'm on my own. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dr. Rats just said, my job here is done. And now he's left his his other half behind, wondering what the next chapter holds. Season one of our Rat Urine Arc has come to an end. Emily, there's your chance. Get that man. <laughs> Whoa, I'm falling. Am I dying? Am I dying? Am I dying? Am I dying? Ooh. Holy scrap. Oh my god, it's massive. <gasps> Sunday! Huh? Huh? Oh, is, is everybody watching me die? <laughs> wait, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, wait. Nope, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Help! <gasps> I died. I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh no, it's the meme! It's the meme! <laughs> The Yamcha meme! Oh no! Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Oh my god. Twirl's hair. I'm so sorry right? you had to see me like this. Oh my gosh. Um, um, are we in heaven? <gasps> we see pretty girl. Are we in heaven? Or are you an angel? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dream. Yeah, her voice is weird sounding. Yes. 
Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. You're hot too, though. Don't worry. Fret not. I, I, don't, I, I see you too. I see you too. Weightlessness is normal for new visitors. It can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, hmm. you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. How the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. Oh, his voice and acting is so nice. His enunciation is so clean. Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. Her voice is so beautiful, but the filter is making me slightly suspicious. This place Ooh, is there's so much out. stuff to do! There are so many people living in what the dreamscape. What is that? Sicker? Dr. Rat! Hey, <laughs> we're gonna put him on the top. Hang on, and then Adventurine's gotta be on the bottom. <laughs> yeah! She has to be on the top of everybody, though. She's hot. Is that a mouth? A peculiarly designed telephone is fixed in place, waiting for curious passerbys to pick up its receiver. Ring, ring! Ring, ring! Good evening, esteemed guest. Would you be interested in making a Dream Peak call today? What is a Dream Peak call? A wonderful question! Please allow me to introduce you to the wonders of the Dream Peak call, dear new guest. Just insert a small amount of Alfala credits and the phone will automatically search your contacts for a sleeping friend and allow you to- That's an invasion of privacy. And let you know what your friend is dreaming about. Isn't it thrilling and fun? It doesn't- th that, This is what I said. It does not sound very ethical. The sudden the the phone suddenly emits a crisp ring, leaving you uncertain whether it is a taunt or a hearty laugh. Ring! An ethical party goer in Penacony! I must admit that your joke is quite refined. Okay, I guess I'll dial you. The Dream Peak call connected. You are about to hear Silverwolf's dream. What an impressive strike! As expected, the top seed Silver was Silver Lord, Silver Wolf's Overlord Aether Spirit effortlessly overcame her opponent, securing another easy victory. I hereby declare the champion of this year's Inter Astral Tournament Festival is Silver Wolf. You heard thunderous cheers from the receiver. Silver Wolf standing at the center of the stage and reveling in the moment shouts her victory line. Ethereum Wars activate. What is this? I don't remember this shit. It appears the Silver Wolf is still frustrated by her loss in the previous tournament. Indeed, a game without any pay-to-win elements is something that only appears in dreams. <gasps> Hoyo said! You can't win gotcha without money, only in dreams. Are those cars? Ooh. Hit me! Hit me! Oh. Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle. <laughs> The Bellabog train just waits for you. Pentacony's traffic is so much ruder than Bellabog. A peculiarly designed phone, telephone, blah blah blah, waiting for curious back, blah 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 blah. Same thing, same thing as earlier. You're about to hear Su Shang's dream. Ooh. Then we'll announce the scores of this exam. I'll announce the scores and rankings from lowest to highest as usual. 35th place, blah blah blah. 36th place, 34th place, blah blah blah. 41th place, blah 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 blah. Third place, Queen of Fate. Queen Knife Fun. 94 points. Second place, Lo Chai, 96 points. And the winner is Sushan, 99 points. The call ends abruptly. It seems Sushan has awakened from her dream, filled with excitement. You can hardly imagine how disappointed she must feel when she returns to reality. Oh, poor baby. That's cute. Sad gear. Oh, no. Cool, cool. What is this one? Huh? What the scrap? Oh, my God. What the, what the scrap? What is that? Is it a mob? What is this thing? Oh, it can see me? It can see me through my disguise? Huh? Oh, you can kill it. What an idiot. This is so big. I'm overwhelmed by the choices. Holy mother of God. Lord. Look at that that sideways. Holy crap. Robin. That's crazy. TikTok, please go check with another ticker, dear gas. I want to quit this job. <laughs> TikTok, I'll have to 
play clocky day and night, and I don't have time for myself. I'm so envious of my friends who turn into dream gel trope. At least they can be themselves. Oh, you can repair him. Wait, what? What just happened? Whoa, what is this? A uh, dream ticker. Occasionally you may find malfunctioning dream tickers in Pentacony. Interacting with them allows you to enter their emoscape and repair these poor guys. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm bad at puzzles. I didn't read any of that. Let's go. How do I move? <laughs> oh, okay. TikTok, Clocky's in action! What is this mirror? Um... I didn't read. This is the problem. I can see that this is a problem. Oh! This is no longer a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Oh no. I didn't read! Even if I read- uh, People think that I don't read because I'm lazy, but even reading doesn't, doesn't make this any better for me. I'm dumb! Oh, 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 I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. And we did it! <laughs> Since work's making me miserable, I'm just gonna go quit! Yeah! Woo! Oh. Bye. First try! First try! Financial advisor's a child? He has a mustache! Understand us, and you will own the chance to do a swift and bountiful fortune. Trust us, and you will keep reaping rewards of the future. The annual interest rate is as high as 34.8%! These Mughal people are here to rip me off! Wait, are the Mughal kids- are they kids, or are they people people? They are people people? They're not kids? This is like a pyramid scheme. <gasps> Can I touch the football on your head? <laughs> if it can instill greater confidence in our financial products, I am more than happy. Please make it quick. There are people around and I'm a little embarrassed. Oh my god, I touched it! Holy crap. I'll give this man my entire life. You can have all 50% interest rate if you want. Raise it higher. Whoa. He's had too much to drink. It doesn't matter how much you drink in a dream. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, Papeshi Club Bouncer. <laughs> no way! The kids have a club? Oh my god. Please, come over here to me. This is the Papeshi Oli Club. Are you Papeshi? I feel like I am. Ha! First time anyone's tried pulling that one on me. Feet together, back straight, no bending your knees! Oh, the Papeshi guard who stands no taller than the doorknob makes a gesture at your waist before taking out a ruler to carefully measure the length of your legs. You're suddenly curious about how she manages to open the door. No Scrap. fucking way. That's over the height limit by the length of three Papeshi canes! And you still dare to say that you're a Papeshi? Apologies, but you're not welcome here! Please get out! Let me give you a suggestion! Next time you come here, try squatting down low on the ground and talking to me! Maybe I'll be in a good mood to let you sky. Uh, can I touch the fluff ball on your head? Did I hear that right? I dare you to say that again in front of all the professional people in to here! Of course I will. Alright, rude! Don't forget what you just said! Just wait until you're beaten black and blue by Papeshi, right, hook! Wait, what the fuck? Who's the shortest character in the game? Let's take out the cursed child. I am the tallest Papeshi. <laughs> Do I look like a Papeshi to you? Stand still! Ba -ba 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 -ba. I didn't expect to meet someone shorter than me. To be honest, I'm quite fond of you. We can become friends. But unfortunately, you are not a Papeshi, and I'm not allowed to let you pass! What the f scrap? Hurry love. Billboard in love. An unusual looking mobile billboard blocks your path. Ah, beautiful lady, welcome to Pentaconi. Excuse my boldness, but have you seen my love around here? Uh, didn't see her? That is a true pity. She is the treasure of Pentaconi, the brightest star in the crowd, catching everyone's attention. That's right, not even a billboard is exempt. Ah, she is unforgettable, and you will understand when you see her for yourself. The billboard sways happily. The young girl on the screen does indeed have a unique quality. She is very charming. I will let her know. Thank you, miss. You're truly a kind person. 
if you happen to meet her somewhere, please tell her one thing for me. There is a billboard in the front of Golden Central Station waiting for you. It will always be waiting for you. That, this is really cute, actually. Um, tell me more about this love of yours. Of course, what do you want to know? How did you fall in love? To tell you the truth, it was the first time we met. There were many people in the Golden Central Station that day, but my eyes immediately picked her out of the crowd. She walked closer and closer, and amongst all the many billboards around, she came and stood in front of me! Oh, any words that describe beauty would fail to capture the perfection of that moment. I was like a guest that had overdone it. I'm so glad. Dizzy, but that's the happiest moment I had ever had! Unfortunately, she left so quickly that I didn't have time to greet her. I decided that I would become a billboard solely dedicated to her! What's her name? The billboard froze in place, swaying. It almost fell to the ground. Oh no! I don't even know her name yet! We've only met once after all, but it's okay! I remember what she looked like. I know I can find her again! What did you do before this? I used to be a salesman for the ninth Blue Hour Dreamscape. I was personally responsible for providing their marriage services in front of Golden Central Station. But after I met my true love, I suddenly realized how much of a sham all of the promises is. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of this. Very well, beautiful lady. I wish you have a pleasant journey. If you happen to meet her somewhere, please tell her one thing for me. There's a- Okay, wait, I read this. Cool. There's a whole love story here. Is the board trauma dumping? Yes. Ring, 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 ring. Dahan stream. Nicholas. An empty hall. Footsteps approach. Their echoes reverberating. One ahead, two behind. Reverberating. Why did I say it like that? Yes, blah 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 blah. Uh, uh. Watch this person carefully. Do you remember me? I remember. A five. Oh god, he's dreaming about Blade. He's dreaming about Blade. How many Yaoi pairings are in Penacony? This is crazy. You hang up faster than lightning. You internally think to yourself, "Please don't, nameless profanity. Let this happen again." <laughs> For using the oh, that's hilarious. These are great. What a great way to nod back to the characters. Oh, it's oh god, oh god, good lord, good god, oh god, oh lord, oh good god, lord, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I can do it, 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 I can do it. Um, ah, okay, wait, no, that didn't do anything. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Ah, um, um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is fine. Wait, hang on. This is not fine. Um... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Nailed it. Herta's puppet dream. Ba! Ma! 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 What the f I'm out of- I'm out of ideas for the boss. You end the call with mixed emotions. Who could have expected such an outcome? Androids do dream of electric sheep. <laughs> Whoa. Heard his, heard his dream about some really weird scrap. Ring, ring, ring. Bring, bring. Argenti's dream. Oh, beautiful Idrilla. Oh, graceful. Is it Idrilla or Idrilla? Idrilla? Idrilla. Idrilla. Idrilla! Where are you, Idrilla? We're gonna say it different every single time. I've been searching for you throughout the universe, e e e Idilla. In flowers, rivers, and stars, your divine traces are everywhere, yet nowhere could you be found. Oh, Idilla, one day I will finally bask in your gaze before my heart stops beating. What a Scrap. fucking loser. This is crazy. What the Scrap. fuck? Why does he sound like this? Welcome to Dreamscape. This is a scary, um... This is a lot. Who's talking to me? It's me, the Dreamscape Sage Storm. I also go by the name of Dr. Dr. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Dr. Edward! This is creepy. Let's begin. Oh, God. Oh. Please close your eyes and 
Rest this is very weird. The dream what if the dream bubble is the eyeball? Would you do it? From the Astral Express. What? Do you please what? Guilty? What? Um, am I a villain now? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memory. Oh. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Oh, what the heck? Do I have to do the voiceover for Agavelli myself? My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is... Oh, so we are Agavelli. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Agavelli. Please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Hmm. March 7, Danghen, Pom Pom. That would be so funny if you did Pom Pom speaking to Pom Pom. Who else is there? Myself! In a different gender, of course! <gasps> is that Caleb? I'm gonna do Caleb! You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended! Wow. You, this is so in character for Caleb. were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. <laughs> Do you plead guilty to this charge? Do you, Caleb? Do you? Tell me. <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> into the high zoo and splurged Holy shit, Caleb is doing so, so much crimes. Yeah, punish him, Pom Pom. Caleb's doing all kinds of crimes. Oh my god, Caleb. Yes. Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> I plead guilty. Full scrap. What is Kill doing? I know he's been playing Genshin, but this doesn't mean he can do all this stuff in Star Rail. The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving. Oh, that's so cute. Sorry, I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Could there be anyone worse than me? <laughs> of course there is. That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Oh. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. Hey, cool. Shoot that way. Get her. Huh? What's going on? Huh? What's all the commotion about? What that? Oh, this is the girl. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. He's cute. S sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Bro, I don't know you like that. I'll do my best to protect the young lady. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Ha, good work. Okay. Ooh, Time dogs. Oh, dogs. <laughs> oh, combat. This is the first combat we've had since, um, the very beginning. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. That's enough, boys. Huh? What? What? What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. What? Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? That is not the voice I expected at all. We're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report he says sounds... that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that what even make sense? She's our guest. He sounds nothing like what I thought he was going to be. He's super hot, though. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. He's got he sounds a little bit like Sampo. I yeah, I thought he would be a husky grizzly voice. Yes, sir. 
old Joey Wheeler. No! Sorry, back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Okay, I can get used to this. I can get used to this. Because of their youth and inexperience, well, they cape. took an honor guest on of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable This mistake. is indeed a and regrettable mistake. I offer apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Ooh, he cute though. I'm... Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Um, I would not make that assumption right now. <sighs> oh, she's I so cute. Big if it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Um, I'm happy to help. Galactic baseballer at your service. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> oh, she said they're funny, you guys. <laughs> Pretty much dating. She said I'm funny. <laughs> by the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? Um, are you- are the nameless really that famous? I'm not doing autographs today! <laughs> uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Okay! Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Oh. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. Oh, she's so cute. Um, that's awesome. I happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Oh, cutie Over pie. Here. Oh, it's midnight. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! Woo! I don't know if anybody actually has plans for Valentine's Day. Not me, baby! We single! Woo! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Oh, wait! She's buying me a nice meal on Valentine's Day, Firefly? You shouldn't have! Oh my goodness! Uh, that's very cute. That's very nice of you. I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you in terms of the Honkai Star OVAs, if someone said that they would, they would buy you food, Caleb would be like, oh, thanks, that's very nice of you. And then Emily would be like, oh, you shouldn't have. And then Howard, Howard would be like, I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. There you go. That's the breakdown. We're gonna, we're gonna do the Howard pick. Shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna we're gonna have to spend all her money. I, whoa! Holy scrap! What the scrap? The meager private funds of Firefly, a new artist. We just took all her money. Oh my god! We just took all her money. Oh no! What happens now? Can we give it back to her? I don't want her money. Clocky pizza or Yoshiko scrapper. underscore mm. Steph gifted a tier one sub okay. to the Howard Wang. Oh no! They have given 15 Howard's gift here. subs in the channel. Oh no. Hi Howard. Yeah, everywhere Howard goes, he uh he eats the expensive stuff. We went to sushi and he got like this platter that had a bunch of sushi on it and it was really expensive and I was like, Howard, you got Hokuya! And then he's like, oh, not in LA. It's not expensive in LA. <laughs> so I'm just saying. By the way, Chad, this is Howard Wong. He voices Luca in, in Fire... Oh, in Hongo Star Wars. <laughs> I almost said in, fi in Fire Emblem. Um, he, he, voices, he voices Luca. He voices Luca in Finn. Hongo Star Wars. No, not Fire Emblem. Not fire. <laughs> I, I, I really like Fire Emblem. I, I got that one. Slide. He also... Fire Emblem though, but he voices a character I don't really care about. Oh my god. Oh my
his ice cream. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing Are happened. Done ordering? Yeah, I'm done ordering. Pay up. Okay. I love their oat cake rolls. She loves her oat cake rolls. Every day. <laughs> Are those high calories? We don't care about calories. Let's go on our day together. Look, that's the statue of Clocky. Penicone's famous cartoon character. There's a thing in his eyeball. Isn't having a clock as a character a bit um, ominous? Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. There uh -oh. would never be anything ominous about him. Right? Oh, 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 oh. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. Oh, and she's his so cute. Story became known across the cosmos. Those with a dream flock to Penacony in droves. Would you like to take a picture with him? Yeah. I'm allergic to camera lenses. Aha! Uh -huh, I know how this goes. You're gonna charge me? No, we were never. We're never gonna say that. Let's take a picture with her. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. She's so sweet. Hi. No, okay, I don't want to take a picture anymore. This is so freaking scary. Help! Help me! Can we take a picture you want first? A photo with him? Sure. Oh, that's so nice of her. Oh. Yeah, I, I want the I want the busted eyelash in there too. It's done. It came out great. You're <gasps> very photogenic. She even says we're very photogenic. Howard and Caleb would never actually Caleb might say that. Howard would never say that to me. We should probably help this, whatever this thing is. Howard's about to start his own stream just to talk about Molly. How dare you. <laughs> Clocky's falsies are screaming. That's how slay they are. <laughs> That's so true. So true. Yank? Oh my god. It's a British bud. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Did she not see the falsies Why get pulled out? Why did you out? suddenly jump? The bird's VA is Firefly's VA? Oh, cute! I did not know that. I rescued a bird, Firefly! A bird with sharp edges and... and I pulled out his lashes! There we go. Eyelashes? <laughs> Clocky doesn't have those. Oh, She's so cute. Clocky's kind of scary, though. I don't know if I like Clocky yet. Oh. Let's look Next, at this. I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Oh, that's not- mm, okay, girly, okay. Look at the children. Look at Miss Tullis! <gasps> Howard, look! This is me and you! <laughs> this is the height difference between me and Howard. <laughs> Are they talking? A gorgeous and exquisite crystal glass hovers in midair, surrounded by three different bottles of liquor. This one's Caleb and this one's Emily. Wait, that one should be Emily. That one should be Caleb. And this should be me. Wait, I don't know. I forgot. Rephrase. Red is Emily. Yellow is... is Molly. Green is Sam Slade. And then the cup is Mina. We're fighting over Mina. Not every glass is a voice actor. We have to include our other friends. The gold wine is the best dancer. Oh, scrap. That's definitely not me. Okay, that one's Sam. That one's Sam. Sam has, is, has a good rhythm going to her. It appears to be a very experienced... Experience. It appears to be very experienced in attending such occasions and is having a good time. It approaches the crystal glass and then pulls away from time to time. Oh, they're having a moment. Miss, miss. That's right, miss. You heard her right. <coughs> I'm speaking to you. We can't make everything sound like Toad. Never mind. Let's not do that one. What is it? Look, I'm a high-end custom-made crystal wine glass. The person who made me said that I should be used to hold only the most valuable and finest wine. But as you can see, there are only three types of wine around me. I can sense their intention to get to know me and be my partner. Truth be told, miss, I have no idea what to do. As the saying goes, the spectator sees the game better than the players. I believe only a little honey kiss like you can offer me the advice. <laughs> You agreed to help the Crystal Chalice to find a perfect match. Who should you- This is a dating game. Shall we talk with Emily? Me or Sam? Which one's me? Am I green? What did I say earlier? What did I, what did I decide on? The glass cannot be Howard. Sam is gold. Okay, Sam is gold. Molly is green. Let us talk to- Let us talk to Emily first. You shift your gaze towards the awkward red wine bottle. 
Look at me, I have a bottle of liquor. Isn't it the most natural thing for a bottle of liquor to desire a perfect wine glass that complements it? As someone who doesn't drink, I don't know what any of this means. I'm sure I won't find another glass as beautiful as the one before me in the entire Pentacony. It's all or nothing for me this time. Oh, this is very not Emily coded. By winning the Crystal Chalice's heart, I'll be on my way to joining the upper class. Oh, red wine bottles trying to social climb. Okay. I want everyone to see that even a cheap red wine can make it th can make it that far through sheer hard work. Let's talk to me. You shift your gaze towards the earnest green bottle. Why are you pursuing the crystal chalice? No, I'm not pursuing the crystal chalice. I'm merely protecting it. Yes, it's protection. Please do not make wild speculations. It seems to be a bottle of few words and is trying hard to restrain its desires. I... Fine. I guess it's all right to tell you my story. <laughs> the crystal chalice might not remember it anymore. But the two of us were made by the same craftsman. Although we're different products, we were born around the same time. This might sound embarrassing, but I haven't been able to get it out of my mind since the day I saw it. Not to be biased, but this is kind of... This is a story right here. I was later brought by a military officer and followed him to the battlefield for a long time. However, he didn't open... However, he didn't open me even to the day he was struck by a stray bullet. My friend, may he rest in peace. By twist of fate, I returned to Pentacony and came across the crystal glass again. It no longer recognized me as we were separated for too long. Now there's a huge gap between us in terms of our status statuses. I'm not expecting anything in return from it. Being just a bottle of rum, I'll never be able to offer it the prestige and recognition that it desires. I, I just want to protect it from being taken advantage of by other wines. That's it. Holy crap. Bro, that was a story! That was a whole story! I too would watch a drama about these bottles and chalices. Okay, let's talk to Sam Slade. Sam's got kind of like a, like a valley girl accent to her, so we're gonna be like talking like this. Oh, look who's here. It's a lady in gray wearing a bizarre costume rarely seen in this town. I like your unique fashion sense. I'm sorry, my friend. I think you might have gotten the wrong idea. Oh, <laughs> I mean the pursuing part. I don't consider myself to be pursuing the crystal chalice. We're simply getting to know each other as equals. Why? It's because that beautiful crystal chalice has long been smitten with me. This is love triangle! This isn't self-flattery, miss. It's a fact. I believe you can see it too, right? My background? Oh, believe me, there's nothing to write home about. You won't be interested. I'm a bottle of golden champagne crafted by one of the top five winemakers in Pentacony. The average dream chaser probably won't even be able to touch my bottle in their lifetime. Okay, okay, damn this bitch. Right from my birth, I've only had one mission. To be poured into the perfect and well-made glass for the enjoyment of the wealthiest elites across the entire cause. This is so IPC coded! That's why that crystal chalice is meant to be with me. We're a match made in heaven, given our missions. You can argue to the contrary all you want. Perhaps saying the story isn't romantic enough, but it's the truth. If it turns me down and dates one of the other two guys, then their relationship is destined to have a bad ending. Trust me, as I've seen too many stories like this, they all tend to end with the same scene. Shards of broken glass are scattered everywhere, and cheap liquid that only attracts insects is spilled all over the floor. I know which wine the Crystal Chalice should choose now. How did it go, miss? Why should I choose? Okay. Guys, this is a really important decision. Red wine had a cute story, but it was boring. We don't care about red wine. Gold wine is an elitist tax collector. So we don't go with gold. But green? Not biased, but I feel like green had a Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli type story. Did anyone watch The Cat Returns? And you know how, how the, the cat with the top hat had that story with the cat from the other thingy and then the cats had a story about s stuff and then the cats like were, were, were separated that's why the cat
has a Ghibli story. And I just feel like we should reward romantic stories. Because we're not here for physical appearance. We're here for the personality. I've been clapping a lot this stream. And it's really hurting my palms. So we're going to stop clapping. We're going to go with green. The bottle. That bottle of rum is willing to protect you for nothing in return. It should be able to give you happiness. I see. I see. I got it. I'll take your opinion into account before making my decision. I appreciate your help, miss. I'll keep you posted if there are any updates on my side. Wow. This was incredible. <laughs> You're an unfamiliar face. Is this your first time in Dreamville? Welcome, beautiful lady. Welcome to the welcome to the town's grandest and most magnificent miracle, Gold Leaf Plaza. Trip. Trip. How do you do bird calls? Uh, when we mentioned Dreamville's archetype, I'm too tired to do this tonight. Um, every branch has been... Boston? What is that? I'll help you beat people up. I'm not even reading. I'll help you beat people up, Scratch. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we learned a lot from that. I learned nothing. What a great, what a great, what a great experience. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> We're any stream here. Have fun, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Did I did I raid? Did it work? Scrap. Oh, did it work? Oh, scrap. She's not even there. That's really awkward.